Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Last Ketchum. I thought it would be fun. I don't know how many people follow me or are into Pokemon, but I think Pokemon was kind of our first love other than for me personally, Batman. Um, but I know at my house, Pokemon was definitely the larger kind of collection and things that um, was being done prior to even knowing Funko was a thing, Chomps, all of the above. So I thought it might be fun to show off a little bit of my collection. And then also, you know, we'll touch on Funko a little bit at the end. So hang with me if you'd like to. Um, but if not, it's okay. I know this isn't something that everybody cares about. I know not all Funko people are into Pokemon and vice versa because we all have different interests. But these I think are fun. I have kind of shared some pictures on my Instagram. Uh, maybe a couple weeks ago or so, but I just thought it'd be nice to kind of share that with y'all here just because it's something that makes me happy. And again, a big part of all of this is just doing stuff that we love, you know, being respectful of each other, enjoying this together, and just being a community. So, I'll show you some of that I got, I guess. One, um, and by the way, my biggest thing with Pokemon is yes, we get plushies, yes, we get the pops, but my original passion was actually vintage packs, like booster packs. I love them. Uh, I always try to buy enough to where I can actually hold some back because I like having some over time because they become more rare, less people have them because obviously we all get really excited and want to open all the packs and find the rare cards. Which, mind you, some of these cards end up very valuable and much more than the packs. You know, these aren't things that I have sold or plan to sell, so it's not necessarily the value. But it is nice with any collectible, I think, seeing that value that goes into holding on to something over time that other people are passionate about like you are. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's cool. And in general, I just like them. Um, because I really didn't know how all that was going to go when I started. I just poured into it because I just thought it was kind of cool, honestly. So I was just going to share some of my collection with y'all. So the first one I have here is from Team Rocket. Again, I don't really know how many of y'all collect these, but this was definitely one that I wanted. I originally had several base packs, uh, base set packs, although I ended up giving away... I don't know, around 10 of those at one point a few years ago. So I don't have any more of those. And I think one I ended up selling at one point trying to get some other packs. Uh, but I don't know, it is what it is. I think it would have been really cool to have held on to at least one. So I kind of regret that slightly. But I do not regret gifting those to someone because I know it made them very happy. But this is also one of those rare ones that I always enjoyed. I think there's some cool pools in here. And I've so far resisted the temptation of opening. But we'll see if that continues to last. Let's see. This says 99, 2000. I don't really remember the time frames in all of these. Because my memory's not that awesome. But that's okay. Like I said, it's more the joy of having them more than anything else. Another one of the ones that I really, really like, everything from the art, etc., is the Neo Discovery. I thought this was a really cool set. I also kind of like the pack art. I feel like it kind of gives the hollow vibes, you know, which is kind of cool. And I also think those are kind of cool cards in general. But this was another set that I really loved and was excited to get as well. And that I have held on to. I'm like, oh my goodness, am I showing you that upside down? No, we're good. And this was from 2001. It's so weird to me reading like 99, 2001, because it really doesn't feel like it was that long ago. But I realize now that was probably like an eternity. So another pack that honestly, I had to search for this one. I saw this, somebody had it and I wanted it. I just thought they looked cool. I liked the idea of these packs, but I had a heck of a time finding it. I couldn't find it on eBay or anything. And I finally tracked down somebody that had this and I was really excited to have one of these because like I said, it was just kind of hard to find. Um, I know I spent a little bit of money on it. I don't remember how much, but it definitely wasn't like you're buying it in store prices, but I don't know, I guess that's normal with collectibles. That's part of the fun, you know, their value. So anyway, 
I got something that I see as, you know, valuable, personal, and that I will definitely be holding on to for a while. And I only have one of them, so it's even more special to me for that. And it is a Team Magma versus Team Aqua pack. And like I said, this wasn't one that honestly was initially on my radar. I didn't even realize that they had made this set. So when I found out about it, I was really excited and had to really just kind of hunt one down, and I did. And all of these are very much loved and kept tucked away most of the time. And who knows, maybe they'll just stay that way until I'm old and gray and my kids can inherit them and maybe open them or something or not care, I don't know. But for now they plan, they plan to be. I had another new discovery pack. This art wasn't like as popular, I feel like with this set, but it is still an awesome one. I know there are a lot of people that really love this Pokemon, so I think it was really a cool pack as well. I really like the art on these. All right, what else we got in here? Here we have Gym Heroes. And I definitely paid way more than this when I bought this. Um, they just had the original sticker from whoever had bought this originally, which is kind of fun in a way because it's just a reminder of where it started, if that makes sense. I, again, it's been a while. I've held on to these for years, so I don't remember the price, but at the time I know it was definitely higher than this, but I just kind of love that that just kind of maintains the memories. And especially since it's not necessarily something I plan to resell. I'm not really worried about it having a sticker on there. I know some collectors don't like that when people have stickers on things, but if you're planning to hold on to it, I guess it doesn't really ultimately matter. And like I said, I don't know, it's like holding a moment in time. So I think that was kind of cool as well. Another kind of, I guess, gym is my Neo Genesis. Lugia. I mean, I'm a big fan of this Pokemon in general, but it is definitely a pretty pack. Great set. Definitely one that I'm glad I got a hold of. Although I kind of wish I was more aware of Pokemon, I guess like earlier when, you know, these packs really first started coming out, you know, like years before I even started to collect them, because I know that again, it's a lot nicer to buy them when they're like three, four or five dollars. But I definitely love investing in this hobby and this collection, supporting other collectors. And it was just worth it. So I have a first edition fossil pack. Another one that I really love. Obviously a cool Pokemon. Very excited to have this in my collection. So that is definitely another one of my top ones. And it was really cool to get a first edition. I did not get many of these. I think at the time I paid $30 for this pack, which I'm not up to, you know, I'm not savvy on what it currently is online or what the value is for these. But at the time I was happy to get it at that $30 and still very pleased to have it in my collection. This is obviously one of those OG packs. So this was really cool and exciting to be able to have. Wizards of the Coast. All right, guys, I'm gonna show off one more today. So let me get it maybe a little picky. Let's see what we're gonna show off. I guess I'm going to just kind of end with another Gym Hero. Gym Heroes. I also think it's fun, like all the kind of subtle differences, like a lot of Pokemon pack collectors, you know, there's like differences and when you collect and how these packs look, there's all kinds of little terms for all of this. So it's kind of cool sometimes to get the ones with the long tabs just because it's different. Not all of them come that way. Same thing with like base set. I know I had long tabs, the short ones. I even had a Japanese base set at one point, which again, I don't have anymore. That was another one that I gifted somebody. Um, but I, that was one that they opened and they actually got some cool 
pulls out of that one and I just kind of appreciate the Japanese sets as well like I mainly collect the English sets but I think the Japanese ones there's little variations and little things that they have that I think are different sometimes in these packs and I just think those are fun to collect as well so that's all the packs for today and just kind of ending on you know a kind of a Funko note we are definitely collectors of the Pokemon Funko Pops we love them. We have so many in this house because uh, we all love them. The one that I think we are looking forward to the most right now, or at least I know I am and my daughter is, is we really want the Vaporeon. I have seen people slowly getting it, so I will definitely have my eye out. I'm hoping that it will come here uh, soon in store because I prefer getting them out in the wild. But if not, it's fine. I'll probably, if not, go through eBay or something else and then just try to find one that way, which is kind of what we normally do. But it would, I don't know, I just think it's a lot funner to pick your box and just being able to find something is always exciting for sure. But I also like opening mail. That's always fun because anytime you're like ordering stuff or purchasing or trading or gifting, any version of a box coming in that's not a bill feels like Christmas to me. And I'm just curious, do y'all relate to that? Do y'all like getting stuff in? Is it a lot of fun for y'all? And again, are you into Pokemon? Do you not care at all? And at minimum, if you're just into the Funko Pops, have you chosen to collect some of this line? Because I know even people not into Pokemon sometimes get them just because some of them are kind of cool or they're adorable because I think many of them are. So just kind of tell me your thoughts um, and let me know kind of what you think about packs. You know, if you're into that or not, I love any feedback, you know, good, neutral, bad. Y'all are just helping me kind of learn and grow, you know, in this community and on YouTube and through Instagram. And I really appreciate it. So thank y'all so much and I hope y'all have a good rest of your night. All right. Bye guys.